Well, one thing about getting up early in the morning, I get to enjoy the best part of our day today because that's where we've got the warm temperatures and even some sunshine. That'll quickly fade, though. I'm StormTrack 12 meteorologist Les Dell here with your Tuesday morning web forecast. And I am tracking, again, the best part of the day was this morning, but a warm and even humid start to the day as we had dew points that are in the 60s. Now, those dew points are quickly dropping and as we go on through tonight and tomorrow, a pretty good soaking rainfall will develop uh, anywhere between about a quarter of an inch and maybe close to an inch of rainfall down along the beaches. We'll be looking for clearing skies for the second half of the week and definitely much colder temperatures from now all the way into the weekend. As far as the rainfall was concerned, had a little band moved up between Jacksonville and Moorhead City and along the Crystal Coast and down East Carteret County early this morning. Nothing more than a couple hundredths of an inch of rainfall, but that's moving out of here. I can't rule out maybe a spotty shower late morning into the afternoon hours as the cold air comes in, but the big deal is that temperatures are going to drop from where we were earlier this morning. We'll get down into the upper 50s and lower 60s for this afternoon. Rain develops. We'll hold in the mid to upper 40s overnight tonight, but not really rise all that much for tomorrow. A rainy and raw day in store for us here in eastern Carolina with a gusty northeasterly wind. And temperatures, uh, some spots may not even get out of the 40s uh, as far as temperatures for the entire 24-hour period tomorrow. Now, where were we yesterday? Well, we fell a couple degrees short of record highs. Uh, 70 was where we topped out in Greenville. 79 was the record, so way short there. But New Bern only missed a record by 2 or 3 degrees. Same thing in uh, Jacksonville and in Washington. We actually tied the record high temperature for yesterday's date. So uh, it is definitely one of those things that uh, we... Uh, the cloud cover held on a couple hours too long yesterday and really kind of ruined the way things went. Here's what we're dealing with as far as uh, going on for the day today. A front crossing its way through the area. Now, the problem with the front is much of the upper level energy is off to the north. And down in the south here, look at all this moisture streaming out of the Gulf of Mexico coming right up along this front. And that is going to be the main player in our forecast as we go through tonight and tomorrow as a wave of low pressure, again, that moisture coming out of the Gulf of Mexico is going to be where it's coming from, rides up along that front. And the problem is, is that we've got winds coming from different direction at different layers of the atmosphere here. We're up at the jet stream level, looking up at around 25, 35,000 feet. We've got these screaming southwesterly winds. So this is where all that heat and moisture is coming out of the Gulf of Mexico. Meanwhile, at the surface, we've got a high pressure centered across the north here and low-level north-northeasterly winds coming in behind this front. So you've got cold air at the surface, warm air overriding it from the southwest, and that's what's going to get the showers going in here as we head on through tonight and then through tomorrow. You'll notice, though, as far as the cold air, it remains bottled up in central and southern Canada, uh, but it is starting to bleed down into the U.S., so this is a sharp cool shot that's going to be in here. Again, you'll notice there kind of the energy hanging back here across Texas. That ejects on out, and that's what helps develop that low pressure system as we head off through tonight and tomorrow along our coast. There's the upper level trough. It does take a little bit of a negative tilt to it with the moderately colder air in place. So as a result, we do see the warmer air at the upper level still continuing to feed in. And then as soon as that sharp cold shot works its way through the area, Upper level heights rebuild, and guess what? We're back in on the warming side of things as we head on into the weekend with sunshine with another high pressure sliding down. But this one, again, coming more in this direction over us as opposed to last week where it went off to the north and we saw those easterly winds bring the moisture in off of the ocean. Eventually, middle of next week, it looks like a big pattern change is going to be coming our way. And probably what we're going to see is kind of every fourth or fifth day these waves of storms coming through. Notice the GFS model that we're using here already showing another one in the pipeline. Uh, some difference in timing on that. Uh, European model's a little bit slower. Either way, late Sunday going into Monday, it looks like that storm system will be working its way through the area here. And we're going to be having another one to middle to the end of next week. Here's what the winds are looking like. And, you know, as uh, George Carlin said, all you got to do is figure out which way the wind's blowing, right? Well, it's that wind coming into that north northeasterly direction. It's going to bring that colder air in place as we go on through the day today. Again, temperatures falling from early morning highs in the mid to upper 60s, dropping on back through the 40s overnight tonight. And then notice with that high nosing in 
across Pennsylvania and Virginia, we still continue that northerly flow in here for tomorrow. So again, we've got low-level cold air coming in on northerly winds with warm, more southwesterly winds overrunning it. That's what's going to create the showers along with that wave off the coast for tonight going into tomorrow. So tomorrow is going to be a cloudy, raw day for us here in eastern Carolina. Future track does show uh, maybe a brief window for, uh, say, about uh, 8 o'clock until about noontime. We may see some sunshine around here, but then the colder air is in the stay. And the showers develop from southwest and northeast overnight tonight, last throughout the entire day tomorrow, and could be anywhere between a uh, quarter to uh, maybe an inch of rainfall before it finally moves its way off of the coast. And we clear things out, and there's that cold trend as we head on into the second half of this week. Uh, again, things for Sunday, Monday kind of up in the air, just depending on just how quickly that next storm system will be moving our way. But with that upper-level ridge in place, notice temperatures rebound right back into the mid to upper 60s as we go on through the second half of the weekend. Have yourself a good Tuesday. I'm Storm Track 12 meteorologist Les Still.